Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So um, I haven't been doing this doodle babble thing for a while. So there it is. Um, I finally finished a notebook from June to September. I started this notebook in June. Well, I guess a lot has happened. I had the um, summer vacation. Uh, we went to Nantes and all of that. Uh, and, and, then, and then also did some um, drawings for, uh, in another notebook. So, so yeah, so this one is done. Um, I'm going to show you the different pages and also talk about something that's um, very important. So the topic da -da, is uh, safety. So safety, being safe is a feeling, I think. It's a state of mind. It's um, also say, I guess it's for me, it's something that comes from the inside. It's something that we can create for ourselves. It's true that, okay, the world is not safe or whatnot. Or with all this coronavirus thing, we can never be sure. And then all this other craziness going on in the world. It, yeah, I, I agree. It's difficult to say, okay, um, we can feel safe, but I think it is possible and it's super important because um, once we have created this feeling of safety we can share it with others so yeah i think this is it i mean this is something that i've learned recently um the past year that um, there is an internal state there is a place that i can go to a place that I can create that when I uh, when I don't feel safe I can create this space for myself so personally I do it by um, drawing by writing and um, really making the space and time for myself um, something that I could do to really just be myself, be with myself, spend time with myself. And I think when I do that, that feeling of safety just comes. So when, when you uh, make yourself available to hear your thoughts, to feel your feelings, um, I think this is when, when the magic com happens, when you don't expect anything, you're just there to be kind to yourself, to really do something that you enjoy. I don't know what it is for you, but for me, it's that, drawing. And this commitment I've been keeping for myself for the past year really to draw every day. It's, it doesn't have to be a long time. Sometimes, <laughs> this drawing is funny because I was really upset that day. <laughs> Anyways, um, this doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be a long time. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I wasn't really not happy there. <laughs> so um, just spending a few minutes to uh, put down that anger <laughs> really helped me to get back to that green place, <laughs> a nice calm place, <laughs> and happy. Um, what was I saying? So it's a daily commitment. Uh, it doesn't have to take a long time. It's, it could be just five minutes, or ten minutes, and sometimes if you don't feel like it, it could be one minute as well. Um, so just taking the time and really creating that, con creating the, the conditions to just be. I have a lot of friends who say, oh, okay, I don't have the time, I'm so stressed out, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, okay, that's that might be the case. But think I think a few minutes each day could really make a difference so if you just take care of yourself for every day as kind of a ritual just for a few minutes I think it really adds up like it's it's like meditation you just go there be there don't ask any uh, don't ask for any uh, results don't ask for you know if you don't have any expectations um, it really gives you it really gives you the space to just um, to just be.
Okay, <laughs> this was a funny drawing as well. That's kind of weird. Well, <laughs> um, and then oh yeah, so then then I was drawing with my left hand, uh, and yeah. So I mean, I think I was really grateful to have um, the this space to express myself and to uh, really just be. So yeah. So that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And I guess if I, I don't like teaching people things, but if I do want to share something, it's that, yes, we can feel safe even in the most difficult situations. And the safety comes from within and we just have to actively create it for ourselves. Okay, thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you next time.